So today we have a guest teacher, Olivia, showing us how to make macrame plant pot holders from scraps of jersey fabric. So the first thing you need to do is cut your jersey scraps into your strands. You can get quite a lot out of um, even small scraps. Cut any messy bits off and make it into a more rounded shape with no corners. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut in a spiral around the fabric about two centimetres wide. Until it looks like this. And then your strands will be ready to make your planter with. You will need six 2.5 metre lengths, one 1 1.5 metre length, and two 50 centimetre lengths. If your lengths aren't quite long enough, don't worry, just knot them together with a normal knot. So now you've got all your lengths, and you've got your six long lengths, your sort of medium length singular piece and then you've got two shorter lengths so take the really long lengths and I'd recommend making sure that you cut them so align the tops all together and cut them all the same length so I'll go to the other end and at the shortest one, I'm going to cut them all to that length. It's just going to make it a bit simpler to start with. So now they're all the same length, you find your central point on that length. And then you measure down about an inch, maybe a bit further from that central point and you take your medium sized piece and lay it underneath perpendicular to all the other strings and we're going to start creating the first knot which is a square knot so we've laid it underneath we're going to create a hoop where it goes over the top and on the right hand side we're going to go over that string then go back underneath the longer strings and up through the hoop that you created and you pull that tight around there Then we're going to do it on the other side. So on the right hand side, we create the hoop, comes over the top, right, create a bit of a bigger one. Then that comes over behind the larger group of strings and up through the hoop. Pull that three and pull it tight, and that is a square knot. We're going to do a kind of reasonable, so maybe about ten of these. So we're going to start again on the left hand side with the hoop. That right hand length goes over the top round the back and up through the loop that you just created and you pull it tight around those lengths and then do it the other side so right hand loop the left hand string goes over the top and up through the loop and that's my second square knot so I'm going to repeat that for a little while and just pull them in a little tighter um, what might be quite good is 
hanging it up just so that you're stabilizing the main strings and it's a lot easier to do. Um, so I've just uh, tied the main strings up onto this bar um, just with an, a little smaller piece um, and that helps stabilize it so we can kind of go through the knotting again. Okay, so we've got your two lengths. We're going over to create the loop and then the right hand one is going back around and through the loop and then we do the same on the right hand side over the top. This one goes, crosses over around the back and up through the loop and that's our square knot and we just keep repeating that until we get to the end of our lengths. Okay, so we've got our full length there now. I'm just going to untie it. And that is our kind of, what's going to become our hanging loop for our hanger. So we fold it in half and there we have it. So now the easy thing to do is get our little tie back and hang it up at this stage. So there we go. So we keep, we cluster everything together and get one of our shorter pieces and we're going to do a wrap knot. So you want to grab the pieces together and hold a length there. Then create a loop. Let's keep flapping down. Create a loop and start wrapping around. Wrap as many times as you feel it looks good. I'm going to go maybe about four or five times. And then the loop that you had at the bottom, you thread the length three. And then the piece that's up at the top you pull it tight, now it's starting to pull in, and you just pull it against the longer one until it sits about halfway up into your uh, wrap knot. And you don't want to pull it all the way through, otherwise it completely undoes. And there you have your kind of loop for hanging your plant up. So I'm going to snip off the extra lengths now, just to neaten it up. Make sure you don't cut the longest lengths. There we go. And that's left over from doing your square knots here. So I'm going to cut that one off. And similarly, this one here. And then we've got a nice clean knot. So now we need to create three groups of four. So I've got those four. And one, two, three, four. Another group of four. And then this also my group of four. So you've got your three groups of the strings and we're gonna measure down, well, pull them tight because they're all stretchy. So if you pull them tight and then you kind of measure down maybe about 10 centimeters and then you want to leave two strings in the center and we're gonna create something called a a twisted knot which is very like the square knot 
So we're going to create the loop on the left hand side, then the right hand string over the top just as the square knot had up through the loop. And line the start of that up with where about where you measured. So you might want to pull it tight again and position that kind of knot. Then you're going to repeat that on the same side again. So we're going to go over the top to create the loop. Then the string goes over, under and through the loop. And repeat this. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Okay, and keep repeating on that same side. And then by doing this, it creates a really lovely twist, which with the two colours is creating a um, really nice kind of alternate sort of candy-like effect, which is quite fun. So keeping them nice and tight. So going over it several times, you can see it's starting to create this twist around here. So keep going with that knot for a little bit. And keeping the central strings nice and tight and that helps form this spiral which is starting to look really good. So I'm going to do a couple more and then that will be that. There we go, so we've got a full turn now in our spiral. So now I'm just going to move on and do the same on this next group. So I'll pick two colours, I might choose blue and green to do it with. Do it around the yellow strings. And then again, I'm just going to just make sure it's nice and neat at the top. Start my loop and position it so it comes to about the same height as the previous one. Because it's stretched you just have to maybe fiddle it around until it's in the right place. And continue with your spiral knot. So pulling it tight so it ends up at about the same size as the previous one. So no, almost the same length, maybe just a couple more. And final group. There we go, we've got our three spirals and now we're going to create the actual kind of uh, basket um, where the pots will go. What we need to do is take two strings from two of the uh, groups. Those are going to be my central sections and then I'm going to grab another two from each of those groups and I'm going to create a single 
square knot, I'll go with the same way around as I have been. About 10 centimeters down. So I'm gonna pull those tight. So once there's weight in the hanger, I know where it's gonna sit. So about 10 centimeters down. And that's just one single square knot. Now I'm gonna move around to the next two groups and do the same. So the two that are left over there from this previous group, I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna choose two from the new group. So I've got four strings that are gonna bring these groups together and create my square knot. I want to make sure that it comes at about the same height as the previous one. Pull that tight. And now the last group. So if I come round here, there should be four strings that are bringing the last two together. So I'm going to put turn the colours in. So another square knot, same distance down as the other knots. So we're going to, we've started to create a little um, space for the pot to go in. Now we're going to do the same where we're going to take from two knots, we're going to take central strings and then an extra one from each side so that we can go another Another square knot, about, once pulled down, maybe about 10 centimetres, or well, slightly under, but similar distance down. Oops, wrong side. And there's our square knot. Pull it nice and tight and move around. This is where it can get a little bit complicated. So I've got two from this previous group and two from the group that's left over, ready to create the next square knot. So loop round, up, under and through the hoop and measuring it to be at the same distance way. Pull it tight. And now I've got the final link with that last knot, so I've got two from that group and two from this group that's going to come together for our final square knot. Make sure it's the right height. There we go, so we sort of created these diamonds between the knots. 
and then last we're just going to create the base so we just pull it down neaten all that, those strings together and then you measure down again a similar distance and I'm literally just going to tie a simple knot at the bottom which will stop the pot falling through. So just tweak it, pull the strings so it all looks even and neat. And then the pot will sit on that final knot here. So now we can grab our plants. So there's the pot and then you might want to tidy, tidy up the very bottom so they all hang at the same length. Okay, so I'm going to cut them all off to be a nice similar length. And there is your finished plant hanger.